In a variety of computer languages, the function at in 2 is the arctangent function with two arguments. The purpose of using two arguments instead of one is to gather information on the signs of the inputs in order to return the appropriate quadrantive, the computed angle, which is not possible for the single argument arctangent function. For any real number arguments x and y not both equal to zero, at in 2 is the angle in radians between the positive x-axis of a plane and the point given by the coordinates on it. The angle is positive for counterclockwise angles, and negative for clockwise angles. History and Motivation The ATIN2 function was first introduced in computer programming languages, but now it is also common in other fields of science and engineering. It dates back at least as far as the Fortran programming language and is currently found in C's Math, H Standard Library, the Java Math Library. NetSystem, Math, the Python Math Module, the Ruby Math Module, and elsewhere. Many scripting languages, such as Perl, include the C-style ATIN2 function. In mathematical terms, ATIN2 computes the principal value of the argument function applied to the complex number x plus i, that is, ATIN2 equals PRARG equals ARG. The argument can be changed by 2 pi without making any difference to the angle. But to define at in 2 uniquely one uses the principal value in the range pi. The at in 2 function is useful in many applications involving vectors in Euclidean space, such as finding the direction from one point to another. A principal use is in computer graphics rotations, for converting rotation matrix representations into oil or angles. In some computer programming languages, the order of the parameters is reversed or a different name is used for the function. On scientific calculators the function can often be calculated as the angle given when is converted from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. The one-argument arctangent function cannot distinguish between diametrically opposite directions. For example, the anti-clockwise angle from the x-axis to the vector, calculated in the usual way as arctan, is pi, 4, or 45 degrees. However, the angle between the x-axis and the vector appears, by the same method, to be arctan, again pi, 4. Even though the answer clearly should be minus 3 pi, 4, or minus 135 degrees. The ATIN2 function takes into account the signs of both vector components and places the angle in the correct quadrant. Thus, ATIN2 equals pi 4 and ATIN2 equals minus 3 pi 4. Additionally, the ordinary arctangent method breaks down when required to produce an angle of plus or minus pi 2. For example, an attempt to find the angle between the x-axis and the vector requires evaluation of arctan, which fails on division by zero. In contrast, atin2 gives the correct answer of pi 2. When calculations are performed manually, the necessary quadrant corrections and exception handling can be done by inspection. But in computer programs it is extremely useful to have a single function that always gives an unambiguous correct result. Definition and computation In terms of the standard arctan function, whose range is, it can be expressed as follows. Notes This produces results in the range by adding 2 pi to negative results. Traditionally, atin2 is undefined. The C function atin2, and most other computer implementations, are designed to reduce the effort of transforming Cartesian to polar coordinates and so always define atin2 on implementations without signed zero, or when given positive zero arguments, it is normally defined as zero. It will always return a value in the range, minus by pi, rather than raising an error or returning a nan. Systems supporting symbolic mathematics normally return an undefined value for at into or otherwise signal that an abnormal condition has arisen. For systems implementing signed zero, infinities, or not a number, it is common to implement reasonable extensions which may extend the range of values produced to include minus by and minus zero. These also may return an or raise an exception when given a NAN argument. 
for systems implementing signed 0 at in 2 x less than 0 returns the value minus pi at in 2 x less than 0 still returns plus pi. The free math library FDLIBM available from Netlib has source code showing how it implements at in 2 including handling the various IEEE exceptional values. For systems without a hardware multiplier the function at and 2 can be implemented in a numerically reliable manner by the CORDIC method. Thus implementations of at and will probably choose to compute at and 2. The following expression derived from the tangent half angle formula can also be used to define at and 2. This expression may be more suited for symbolic use than the definition above. However it is unsuitable for floating point computational use as it may overflow near the region x less than 0, y equals 0. The formula gives a nan or raises an error for at in 2, but this is not an issue since at in 2 is not defined. A variant of the last formula which avoids overflow is sometimes used in high precision computation. Derivation of at in 2 The derivation of the principal value of the argument at in 2 goes as follows. If then it follows that note that in the domain in question, computation gives variations and notation. In common Lisp, where optional arguments exist, the at in function allows one to optionally supply the x coordinate. In Mathematica, the form arctan x, y is used where the one parameter form supplies the normal arctangent. Mathematica classifies arctan 0, 0 as an indeterminate expression. In Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice.org Calc, LibreOffice Calc, Google Spreadsheets, eWork Numbers, and ANSI SQL 2008 standard, the ATAN2 function has the two arguments reversed. In the Intel architecture assembler code, ATIN2 is known as the FPATAN instruction. It can deal with infinities and results lie in the closed interval minus bar pi, e.g., ATIN2 equals plus bar 2 for finite x. Particularly, FPATAN is defined when both arguments are 0. At in 2 equals plus 0, at in 2 equals plus pi, at in 2 equals minus 0, at in 2 equals minus pi. This definition is related to the concept of signed 0. On most t-graphing calculators, the equivalent function is called rp theta and has the arguments reversed. On T85 the ARG function is called angle and although it appears to take two arguments, it really only has one complex argument which is denoted by a pair of numbers, x plus y equals. In mathematical writings other than source code, such as in books and articles, the notations arctan and tan minus 1 have been utilized. These are uppercase variants of the regular arctan and tan minus 1. This usage is consistent with the complex argument notation, such that at an equals arg. On HP calculators, treat the coordinates as a complex number and then take the arg, or less than less than c to r arg greater than greater than atan2 sto. Illustrations The figure alongside shows values of at in 2 at selected points on the unit circle. The values, in radians, are shown inside the circle. The diagram uses the standard mathematical convention that angles increase counterclockwise, and zero is to the right. Note that the order of arguments is reversed. The function at and 2 computes the angle corresponding to the point. The figure below shows values of at in 2 for points on the unit circle. On the x-axis is the angle of the points, starting from 0, and going counterclockwise, through points, with angle pi, 2, with angle pi, with angle 3 pi, 2, to with angle 0 equals. One can clearly see the discontinuity of the at and 2 function. The two figures below show 3D view of respectively at in 2 and arctan over a region of the plane. Note that for at in 2, rays emanating from the origin have constant values, but for arctan lines passing through the origin, have constant values. For x greater than 0, the two diagrams give identical values. 
derivative. As the function at in 2 is a function of two variables, it has two partial derivatives. At points where these derivatives exist, at and 2 is, except for a constant, equal to arctan, hence for x greater than 0 or y 0. Informally representing the function at and 2 as the angle function theta equals at and 2 yields the following formula for the total derivative, while the function at and 2 is discontinuous along the negative y axis, reflecting the fact that angle cannot be continuously defined. This derivative is continuously defined except at the origin, reflecting the fact that infinitesimal changes in angle can be defined everywhere except the origin. Integrating this derivative along a path gives the total change in angle over the path, and integrating over a closed loop gives the winding number. In the language of differential geometry, this derivative is a one form, and it is closed but not exact. And in fact it generates the first to RHAM cohomology of the punctured plane. This is the most basic example of such a form, and it is fundamental in differential geometry. The partial derivatives of at and 2 do not contain trigonometric functions, making it particularly useful in many applications where trigonometric functions can be expensive to evaluate.